T minus 15 seconds. Green board. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Main engine start. 1, 0. And liftoff of the Delta II with the NPP satellite. Blazing the way, a new technology for climate research and weather forecasting. Chamber pressure in the main engine, good chamber pressure in the three cracks of the two diverniers, and good chamber pressure in all six ground lit motors. Passing 24 seconds into the flight. Pressure beginning to trail off a little on the uh, ground lit solids as expected. Coming up on the 33 second mark. Mark 33 seconds of Mach 1. Vehicle now going transonic. Passing 40 seconds in. Good stable chamber pressure in the main engine, the verniers, and the ground solids. Coming up 48 seconds, mark 48 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. 10 seconds now remaining until burnout of the six ground lift motors as we're passing the one minute mark. Burnout, the six ground lift motors, and we have ignition on the three air lift motors. Good ignition on the three motors, good chamber pressure, good symmetrical burn. Standing by for separation of the ground lift solids about 10 seconds from now to assure a good water impact point. Passing one minute, 20 seconds, standing by for ground solid jettison. Jettison. Six motors have jettisoned, passing one minute 36 seconds in. Pressure now beginning to trail off on the air lift motors. Acting the one minute and 45 second mark. Altitude now 17.8 nautical miles, downrange distance 2.4 nautical miles, velocity 2,587 miles per hour. Coming up one minute 55 seconds, still looking good, passing through Mach 5. In the two-minute mark, about 10 seconds remaining on the uh, airlit motors. We have burnout of the airlit motors. Standing by for jettison. And we see jettison. Passing two minutes, 22 seconds. Altitude now 31.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 30.3 nautical miles, velocity 4,202 miles per hour. Two minutes, 35 seconds in. Pressure holding very well in the main engine and in both verniers as we're passing two minutes and 45 seconds. Looking down very nicely, very smooth ride. Coming up on 2 minutes, 55 seconds, passing through Mach 10. 3 minutes in. Altitude now 42.0 nautical miles. Downrange distance 72.4 nautical miles. Velocity 5,794 miles per hour. Data coming in through Santa Inez Peak, passing three north minutes, of Santa Barbara. Seconds, a little over 1 minute remaining in first stage flight. Chamber pressure continuing to hold very well in the main engine and in both verniers. Pitch and yaw control in the main engine very good, very steady, and vernier engine pitch and yaw control looking good in both vernier engines. Passing 3 minutes 33 seconds. Point Magoo. 3 minutes 40 and seconds. Nicholas in. Island now Altitude with data. Now 51.9 nautical miles, downrange distance 135.3 nautical miles, velocity 8,220 miles per hour. Passing uh, 3 minutes 53 seconds in, about half a minute now remaining on first stage flight. Passing 4 minutes in, altitude now 57.8 nautical miles, downrange distance 179 nautical miles, velocity 10,092 miles per hour. Standing by from Miko, about 10 seconds from now. We have Miko standing by for Vico. And we have Vico, the Verniers of Cutoff, standing by for one two stage step. And we have stage separation. We 
have ignition on the second stage, second stage chamber pressure rising, and we have fairing separation. Fairing has separated from the launch vehicle successfully four minutes, 50 seconds in. Altitude now 74.4 nautical miles, downrange distance 316 nautical miles, velocity 12,120 miles per hour, passing the five minute mark. First uh, burn of the second stage this evening should last a little over five minutes and 45 seconds. Now five minutes, 15 seconds in. Second stage, uh, chamber pressure right where we want it to be, very steady burn. Stable uh, pitch and yaw control in the second stage. One minute into the burn right now. Looking good. Smooth ride. Coming up on six minutes. Mark, six minutes into the flight. Altitude now 91 nautical miles. Downrange distance 516 nautical miles. Velocity 12,820 miles per hour. Second stage will cut off 10 minutes 23 seconds into flight. We're at now 6 minutes, 16 seconds into the mission. I think 6 minutes, 22 seconds. Almost 2 minutes into the burn. Command receiver decoders have uh, turned off. minutes, 45 seconds in. Altitude now 96.3 nautical miles. Now, 7 minutes, 15 seconds in altitude, 99.6 nautical miles, downrange distance, 735 nautical miles, velocity, 13,714 miles per hour. 7 minutes, 25 seconds in. Stage uh, chamber pressure continues to hold. Good chamber pressure in the second stage. Good control in second stage pitch and yaw. On Tedris data. The two minutes, 20 seconds now remaining in this uh, first burn of the second stage. So passing eight minutes, 15 seconds. Downrange distance now 954 nautical miles, velocity 14,669 miles per hour. Passing now 8 minutes and 45 seconds in. Second stage uh, chamber pressure holding rock solid. Yeah, well, uh, 1715, uh, uh, can you turn your uh, uh, flight recorders off? Did a good job. Passing 9 minutes. Do now 101.5 nautical miles, downrange distance 1118 nautical miles, velocity 15,523 miles per hour. A minute seven seconds remaining in the first burn. Our first stage events, so very close to the expected times as we're passing nine minutes 30 seconds. You can see that the uh, second stage chamber pressure now beginning to decline slightly as expected. Forty 
seconds remaining on the burn. Stage uh, pitch in your control, uh, very good at this time. Chamber pressure is continuing to drop off or trail off as we're passing 10 minutes. Mark, 10 minutes in, altitude 100.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 1,321 nautical miles, velocity 16,578 miles per hour. We're standing by for SECO about 10 seconds from now. And we have SECO. Hydraulic system pressure is dropping and pumps off. Coming up uh, 10 minutes, 55 seconds in. Altitude 100 nautical miles, downrange distance 1,533 nautical miles, velocity 17,090 miles per hour.